Hey hi, in this video we'll do a quick sneak peek of uh, the Docker Swarm. With version 1.12, Docker introduced Swarm mode which is a native Docker clustering technique. It allows one to manage a cluster of hosts running Docker and orchestrate them as well. In Swarm mode, uh, there are actually the nodes have two roles, uh, a manager node used for orchestrating the Swarm cluster and a worker nodes uh, which uh, only runs the containers. Though node can be manager, it can still run containers within it. High availability of the Swarm cluster or the Swarm managers can be achieved by defining multiple manager nodes. Uh, recommendation is to use odd number of managers as, as a cluster can tolerate n minus 1 by 2 failures. The managers within themselves elect leader among themselves using a raft algorithm. You can also change roles uh, that is promote a worker to a manager or demote a manager to a worker. So with that quick preview, let's quickly jump on to a demo on setting up uh, a Docker Swarm cluster. So I have three nodes, uh, 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 all of them running Ubuntu 6.4 image. Uh, there are three nodes here. Uh, I already have Docker installed on them. So let's quickly check what's the version of Docker that is running on these uh, machines. So Docker version. It's 1.12, docker version, this is also 1.12, and docker version, this is also 1.12. So within these three nodes, uh, what I will do is I'll use one of the hosts as manager and the other two nodes as worker. Uh, since it's, this is just, just a demo, uh, it's fine to have just a manager without any high availability. So installing the swarm, cl swarm cluster is very, very easy and can be done with the docker swarm init command. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's it. Uh, the moment you hit enter, uh, the manager, uh, uh, this particular machine uh, becomes a Docker manager, and it actually gives you a, a command to run uh, the the command on other nodes to join the Swarm cluster. So, let's go ahead and join our other nodes to this cluster. And before that, let's check the Swarm status using the Docker nodes ls. So, as you can see. Uh, we have one docker uh, node which is just uh, normed as docker manager and the status is ready, availability is active and this is the leader. Since there is only one manager, this becomes the leader. So let's go ahead and just copy this command and use them in our other worker machines. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and paste this. So this node joined as a swarm, joined a swarm as a worker. So let's quickly go back to our manager and just do a docker node ls again. Now you can see that now you have two machines. Uh, one is a docker manager, which is the leader, and the other machine is a docker worker one. Uh, it just takes the host name of that machine and it's actually joined the same cluster. So similarly, we'll go ahead and add the second machine to the cluster as well. And this is also added. Let's go ahead and quickly check this out. That's it. Now you have three hosts. Uh, they're all part of a swarm cluster. So now let's create a container within the cluster. So for that, uh, what I'll do is I'll use an nginx image and uh, we will uh, uh, we'll have to use the docker service command to create a container within the swarm cluster. So we'll do docker service create. I'll just give a name. I'll just use it now to nginx. Uh, now since this is a cluster, I can mention how many replicas I need. Uh, so that can be uh, done by this command. I'll use a replica of 3. Uh, I'll publish the port. Uh, uh, that is 80, 80 on the host to 80 on the container. And I'll use the latest nginx default image. And what this command does, it will create three instances of nginx and it will be distributed across all the nodes uh, in the cluster which also includes the manager. The publish command maps the container port 80 to the host port 8080. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just do that. Now you can see that uh, the container is just already launched. Uh, I had the nginx image already downloaded uh, within these uh, uh, machines. So if, 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 the, uh, if the docker image is not there for nginx, uh, uh, the host will actually start downloading or start, start pulling the uh, nginx image from the uh, github repo. So let's go ahead and quickly check uh, what the service looks like. So we can do that with docker service ls. Uh, 
Now you can see that I have a container running and this name is now nginx which I just gave and there are three replicas. I actually mentioned three replicas and all the three replicas are running and the image name is nginx. Uh, so uh, uh, now to visualize uh, the, the swarm cluster better, I'm going to run a container called docker swarm visualizer uh, on the manager. Uh, uh, so uh, in Manomax has actually created a visualizer for Docker Swarm cluster and I'm just going to use that visualizer as is. Uh, so I'm just going to take this. Uh, uh, this helps actually to visualize the Swarm operations in a better manner. Um, so I'll just uh, use the same command. I'll just uh, change this to 9000 since uh, 8080 is already used. We use that 8080 for our nginx. So let's just go ahead and run this command the manager. And let's do a docker service ls. Now you can see that uh, I have two containers running. Uh, let's try doing the same command on the worker. The worker does not uh, or uh, 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 from the worker, you're not able to run these commands uh, because they are just part of, they are just workers, they are not manager. Uh, these can be done only with the, uh, uh, these commands can only run on the manager. Uh, now since we have the visualize running now, let's go ahead and quickly launch an instance. So uh, let me just quickly check what's the IP address of this container. It's 53. And as you can see, uh, this, is a, this is a visualizer of the Tom Swarm cluster. And if you remember, I have three nodes. Uh, those three nodes are actually mentioned here. Manager, worker, worker. It actually even gives the RAM that's running. So there are two Ubuntu machines. They're all running Ubuntu 6.16.4. And uh, uh, one of the two of the machines are running one gig RAM and the other one is running two gigs of RAM. Now within the nodes um, you can see that the containers that they are running. So now you have the Naru NGINX. Uh, and remember I actually asked uh, to make three replicas of that uh, container and you can see that three replicas were by default spread across all the three nodes. Uh, one in the manager and two in the workers. And you will have also have the visualizer running on the manager as well. Now, scaling the environment uh, within the Docker Swarm cluster is pretty easy. And you can do that uh, using the Docker CLIs again. So let's quickly scale the NGINX from, say, 3 to 7. So we'll just do Docker service scale. And I can put the name of my container. And I'll just do 7. Now you can see that uh, it immediately scales the nginx container into 7 so we can do a docker service ls and you can see all 7 replicas are actually running uh, on this cluster and let's go, go and quickly check in a visualizer as well and I'll just uh, you can see that now there are 7 uh, containers that are running uh, within the cluster now you have 2 in the manager, 2 in the worker 1 and 3 in worker 2. Um, now, similarly, uh, similar to scaling uh, scaling up, we can also scale down the containers, and uh, we can do that by just doing Docker service scale now nginx four. Um, I'll do that four. Now this will scale to four. Uh, it's actually scaling down from seven to four. Let's quickly check our visualizer again, and you can see now now you have uh, two containers running in worker one and one each in manager and worker two. Now let's try accessing the container. Uh, remember now, uh, nginx uh, will publish a, a default web page, and let's go and access that. Now, but since we have four containers running, now which IP address should we use? You can actually use any of this uh, node's IP address on the publish board, and we'll throw the nginx default page. Uh, let's do that. So let's do one dot one dot say fifty three, and I'll just use eighty eighty. And you can see that I am logged into the MGNX web server. Now, similarly, I can use the worker one uh, VM, uh, which is if config. Let me just check the IP address. Now it's 54. 
Now you can actually even use 1.1.54.8080 and it will still log in to the <coughs> same MGNX page. Uh, this is because, because uh, when a container is spun, spun up in the swarm, the export port is mapped on all the hosts. Uh, uh, and this is true even if the host isn't actually running the container, which actually gives a very truly distributed and scalable environment within the swarm. So when a container is created, uh, the service uh, is broadcasted using gossip protocol uh, to all other containers in a specific OLA network. So let's take a look at the network in the swarm cluster as well. So let's do an inspect of the network. Let's do docker inspect. Let's do docker inspect and our ngins. You can see this is the entire uh, uh, container. So if you just look at the Docker network uh, LS, now you can see that there is an OLA network that's uh, uh, that's included uh, along with the bridge and the host network and the NUN network that you actually generally see. You have two more networks in the Swarm cluster, that's Gateway Bridge and, and the OLA. Uh, the OLA is what is used to, uh, to uh, communicate between the nodes in the Swarm cluster. It actually creates a VXLAN OLA automatically so that the containers can communicate. Um, so Docker network. Inspect. And as you can see, now uh, if we if we did an inspect, that overlay is actually using ten two fifty five zero dot zero. It's by default taking up uh, one of the random IP addresses within for the overlay. Now, when we create the swarm cluster, we can actually create a network as well and assign. Uh, a particular uh, overlay network uh, subnet to be used. Uh, so that's this for this video which gave a sneak peek on how Docker Swarm operates and how easy it is, it is to set up and orchestrate. We'll get into more details in future videos. Thanks for watching.